First and foremost, I want to give respect and honors to my former high school teammate that passed away on the day, LeBarry and Lee. Just a moment of silence. This is prime example to live life to the fullest. You never know when your day is up. Cherish moments with those that we seriously love, man, at the end of the day. And just keep moving forward. My prayers go out to him and his family. R.I.P. LeBarry and Lee. Coach Prime Colorado Buffaloes had their practice on the day. It got very heated. I will be back to the on-field practice. Shout out to Reese Pick Media. Every other city I go. From Colorado to the Bayou I go. Y'all know the motto. Get a hell of a I know. My people know it's mad dog. TV, let's go. To every other city, every city I go. From Colorado to the Bayou I go. Y'all know the motto. Get a hell of a I know. Hey, man, it's the best opportunity of our life, dog. Like, we don't realize that, bro. We sit right here and cry about stuff that you ain't supposed to be crying about, man. This is the best opportunity of our life, bro. I hate to see it, bro. I hate to see people not, not have this opportunity and they want it so bad. And we got it. We won't do shit with it, bro. Come on, man. We got the best opportunity in the world, bro. There's a million kids in the world that's grinding, going to practice every day to get healed. And we get here and cry about it, bro. Come on, bro. Come on. How we going to do this, bro? If you back in the city where y'all from, bro, that, that counter y'all see all on TV, but they knew how we go by day by day, hour by hour, they'll be like, what the hell? What the hell is you out there doing? That's real talk. Even me, bro. Even me. I, I, I talk to y'all, but I'm talking to myself, too. Because I take this shit for granted sometimes. That's why I need people on my team to come to me and be like, you bullshit today. You ain't bringing me today. You got to love football first. You got to love this shit first, man. This is, it's, it's about football. I'm sorry, Coach. Forget all the social media and all that, man. This is about football. At the end of the day, I love football more than I love the Instagram. I love football more than I love the money. I love football more than I love these girls, bro. I love football first. That, and that's how we got to get to. We got to love the football shit first. Then all the other stuff going to come, bro. Oh, shit. Hey, bro, we got 21 more days. Bro. We can't be hating on each other. We can't be sensitive, bro. We just got to do our work. Cam Craig is absolutely correct, man. You have to take advantage of the opportunity that you have. There's so many people that would love to be in these guys' shoes, including myself. I trade away this YouTube channel very quickly just to scrap up the cleats one more time man there's no better feeling and a lot of times we take things for granted whether it's football relationships you know life in general we take these things for granted but when it's gone we realize damn i really did miss out on that opportunity and i'm telling you guys from firsthand some experiences that i've had as well i just don't want to get too personal with it but yes he's absolutely correct do not take anything for granted because once it's gone you will realize it when it's gone Great pitch and catch right there between Shadur Sanders and Charlie Alfadal. I cannot keep telling you guys how excited I am for Charlie, man. To see him walk on last season and then getting a lot of reps this season, absolutely incredible and an example of what hard work can get you.
great catch right there by Jimmy Horn Jr. Have a lot of high expectations for him for this season. We know how he did last season, which was pretty good in my personal opinion, but he want to turn it up another level. I can absolutely tell by watching his practices. He's been doing very good in these videos, so shout out to him. Every time Coach Dancy starts talking, man, it gets me in that mood, man. I just absolutely love his leadership and how he speaks to his players. His voice just gravitates to football, man. He's one of those coaches I just can listen to all day. Great defense right there by number 34. Being able to backpedal, backpedal, be patient, wait on the wide receiver to make a cut, and then snap up on it right there, man. That's textbook defense right there. Great defense right there by DJ McKinney. Another one of those DBs I have high expectations for for the 2024 season. A new arrival right there, man. I'm going to tell you guys right now, he's the real deal. What I love about him is his long wingspan. He has very long arms. That's going to cause a lot of chaos for wide receivers because his arms is so long. So it's easy for him to get in there and break up the pass. Great defense. So my final thoughts, it was a very good video. Shout out to Reese the People Media. We have a lot more in this video for you guys to check out. I will have a link to this video and his channel in the description. Drop a comment let me know what you guys think about this practice. I absolutely loved everything that I saw within this practice. Offensively, defensively, effort, the vocal leadership. Everything that a team needs to be successful, absolutely was all within this video. And if you guys like the video, definitely subscribe to the channel. Peace.